welcome back, guys. Now, while it's not surprising to see Latinos in all kinds of music genres, I think we still raise an eyebrow when we pair Latinos with country music. Well, singer-songwriter Lindy Ortega is rapidly changing that perception as she continues to grow into a household name with cameos in TV shows like Nashville. It also doesn't hurt that her amped up country sound connects with the hard rock crowd thanks to touring with legendary punk rockers, Social Distortion. But at the end of the day, Lindy is not trying to break the mold. She's trying to create one all her own. Check this out. Sonidos is brought to you by Garnier. Just take it from the top. She's part Latina, part country, with a dash of indie rock. I told a little lie or two when I spoke to you on the phone the other night. She's singer-songwriter Lindy Ortega, and while she might have grown up surrounded by Latin sounds, her musical direction took a more country-southern turn. I grew up in Toronto, Canada. Um, my dad was a bass player in a Latino band when I was growing up and I remember being very young and going to his sound checks and just being mesmerized by my father on stage. I grew up listening to a lot of folk and roots and country music and that came from my mom's. And then more of the Latino music influence came into my guitar playing. So I learned how to play guitar very rhythmically. My dad, of course, was very supportive of him being in a Latino band growing up, so he was excited that he had a daughter that was carrying on the tradition. I wanted to be serious about it and started doing the coffee house circuit and the open stages and the small little hole in the wall venues. It's very difficult to start an indie career in Canada. There's a lot of people making music, so to stand out is very difficult. Just trying to get my name out there, and it, it took a very, very long time before I met somebody who really helped me move up the ladder with my career. You said you'd love me till the cows come home. And while country music isn't filled with many Latino names, Lindy is definitely making heads turn with her vintage approach and bad girl good looks. This record, Cigarettes and Truck Stops, is uh, definitely more indicative of who I am as a person. And it really harkens back to those old Sun Studios kind of recordings, like a little bit more raw. The main players are were recorded live off the floor, and a lot of them in like one or two takes, just the way they did it back in the day. And it's honest and it's real, and there's none of that flash and sort of crazy auto-tune and stuff. I think it's entertaining for people that are coming to the show, like to be visually entertaining as well as singing and like audially entertaining, if that's a word, I don't know. But anyways, and I take on a bit of a different persona when I'm on stage, even though it's still like rooted in who I am. Um, there's a lot more like sass and a lot more badassness, if you will. It's definitely a roller coaster. There's ups and downs, and it's unavoidable in life. And I'm proud to be who I am. You know, I know I'm not huge and famous or anything like that, but I love what I do. I love who I tour with. So it's all worth it at the end of the day. It's all worth it for those 30 to 60 minutes on the stage where I just get to have the best time in all of my existence. I'm coming for my 